What's up, good people? Thank you for tuning in to 4722 Dominique. Looking lovely on the budget. Today I'm coming at you guys with some um, nice sauteed pork chops. Not fried. I'm going to saute these. Alright, I've already seasoned this side, you know, for time's sake. So what you're going to do now is flip them over. And I use um, this uh, lari salt and onion powder, garlic powder, and some accent. I usually use lemon pepper, but I didn't have any. So you're just going to turn these bad boys over. And then you're going to just season the other side. So I'll go ahead and season so you can see exactly how much I use. Sorry for the shakiness uh, with my camera. I'm doing this by myself. Oops. All right. Let's get started. You're just going to put just a little bit because you don't want them um, too salty. Just a little bit. Okay, then you're going to put a generous amount of pepper, it don't matter, great value, whatever pepper you want to use, it don't make a difference. Okay, alright, got that taken care of, and a little accent. And you're going to use uh, some garlic powder. And don't be stingy with your seasonings now. You want to make sure it turn out good. Just be a little stingy with the uh, salt. You don't want to put too much salt. Alright, now you're going to take the onion powder. Don't matter what brand. Just a little bit on there. Well, a generous amount. My bad. Then you're going to take your little piece of butter, put it in your skillet. Take that garlic powder, put it in your pan. Take some of that onion powder, do the same thing. Just to have it on the bottom. And you just let that uh, kind of melt down a little bit. Hang on, let me get um, that this thing on back. Hang on a second, y'all. You want to make sure you got the butter all the way across. Like that. Sorry. Then you're going to start putting your chops in there. And I'll come back and let you guys see how this is looking. I'm sorry for the shaking this in the video but like I said I'm doing this by myself today but I did want you guys to see what I was preparing and my hands are clean this is for my family not your family and the family up the street so they trust me I've been cooking for them for a long time but my hands are clean all right and I'll come back and let you guys see how this is uh sauteing up all right I'll be right back Alright y'all, about halfway through you're going to take some green peppers and just go ahead and start putting them on top. Not halfway through, but right before you flip them on the other side. And just take you some green peppers and put them on the top of them. Since you're sauteing and it's just going to soak up the uh, flavor of the green pepper a little bit. If you don't like green pepper, then you can do um, a whole onion, a chopped, half a chopped onion, or... Um, red pepper, any kind of bell peppers would be good if, if, if that's your thing. So, as you can see, I got um, some peppers cut up over here on my stove. That's what I'm using, just a regular pepper. And that's what we're going to do with peppers, and then I'm going to finish putting some. You want to make sure you put it all on at least every um, pork chop all the way around before it starts to burn on the other side. Hang on. See, I'm just doing it in like a little circular motion, but it's, it, every piece of pork chop going to taste like it. So I can take chunks of it and just put it all across. Okay. I can take it from there. Next, what I'm doing is I'm going to take just some uh, mashed potatoes. It don't matter what brand. This is great value from Walmart. You're going to boil your water first. And I'll show you how I'm going to season these plain, simple mashed potatoes just to give them some flavor. 
because I didn't feel like cutting up a um um a regular potato and cut and just making it from you know scratch homemade. But anyway, I'll come back and let y'all see how I'm doing that. But right now, I'm going to let these cook, let it cook down just a little bit more. And I'm going to come back and show y'all how it looks on the other side, the opposite side, before I put green peppers on that side. Make sure you cook them on low. As you can see, I got it like on number three. So turn it down so it can cook slow and low. And that'll help with your seasoning. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I've already flipped this. Yeah. As you can see, it's kind of brown, and I put more uh, green peppers on top of that. Um, if you can hear me, I flip it. So now I'm going to let that cook down a little bit more. And this is what one of them looked like on the opposite side. See, it has to get brown like that side, and then it'll be done. All right, now with these mashed potatoes, what I've done is I already put, um, as you can see, two cups of the... Oh, well, guys, <laughs> I can't ever talk on camera. Two cups of these mashed potatoes in here and just put them in there on top of that water that you saw. Now I'm taking a little bit of the buttermilk, the whole buttermilk, it don't matter what kind, as long as it's buttermilk, and just putting a little bit in there, just enough to change the color up a little bit. And uh, my mom was trying to tell me a little secret to how to make these mashed potatoes taste even better because they are simple, they're just a box kind without cutting up the whole potato and all that. When you don't have time and see this is cooking on a budget as well not just looking lovely on the budget but cooking on the budget I'll put a little bit more of this buttermilk in this uh, pot and that's about that's not even a cup just a little splash so what you want to do now is take maybe a teaspoon of mashed I mean God Hellman's mayo I'm sorry and put it in there maybe about two teaspoons and that give it um, a better flavor. I know you're like, ew, that sounds disgusting, but it really do. And you're just going to take it and stir it up like so. Just stir it and make sure everything is mixing together. But you don't need a whole lot of milk. Just enough to change the color and make it good and creamy. And as you can see, it's getting creamy. I'm going to go ahead and put them back on that hot eye. I took them off the eye because they didn't stop popping. And you don't want to get burnt. So I'm going to put a little bit of pepper in them now. Then I'm going to add my uh, salt, maybe about, uh, hang on, let me get my salt. A bit about that much salt. Stir it again. And you know you have to really salt mashed potatoes. Add a little bit more salt. And I'm going to put on some string beans too, not fancy with that, but make sure you add a, a teaspoon of um, sugar to those string beans out of the can. Alright, and I'll be back with the final results of everything that I prepared for today. Let that go ahead and finish cooking down, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back guys. As you can see, I've already took the pork chops out. This is the last piece in now, and it's so pretty. Those are the mashed potatoes. And this is the remaining pieces of pork chop. They already done start digging in, y'all. But anyway, this is the uh, string beans mixed with some mixed vegetables. And I didn't do anything special even with that. Hang on, let me show you what I uh, Sorry, guys. I just used the regular green giant beans and put some carrots and potatoes in those on the back eye. And that's about it. But anyway, thank you so much for tuning in to 4722 Dominique. Looking lovely on a budget. And I just added salt, pepper, and a little bit of butter to those mashed potatoes. As well as um, a little bit of garlic powder to give it a little garlic taste. And that's pretty much it. So I thank y'all for tuning in. That's my baby in the background. She, I don't know what she want to do. But anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. And you guys be blessed. Thanks for watching. Sorry about this shakiness.